Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use a data validation drop down menu in Excel combined with a VLOOKUP formula in order to very easily and quickly get data from a database. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the video tutorial and you can download it there. So what I've got here is um, a sample table right here with product price and stock amount. So say the stock amount is going to be updated daily and um, so this is my table. Now over here to the left I've got a place for the product and I'd like the stock number to appear here. So instead of having to remember what the name or the number of every product item uh, or store is I can simply, I want to be able to use drop down menu right here, click that, select the store, have the stock amount appear here. To do that we're going to be using data validation. The shortcut for that is right here, Alt D L that's going to work in previous versions of Excel. So Alt DL if you have a previous version of Excel. And then the VLOOKUP formula. I've got the syntax for that right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I want to do is to create the drop down menu right here. So what you want to do is select the cell where you'd like the drop down menu, then hit Alt DL on your keyboard. Or if you are in Excel 07, you can go to data, the data tab, and click data validation right here. This window is going to open up when you do that. And what we want to do is in the settings tab, in the allow area, click the drop down menu here and select list. Once you do that, make sure in cell drop down is checked because that's our drop down list or menu. Then click in the source box and select the source. So the source, those are all of the items that you would like to appear in the drop down menu. And since this is our data table right over here, these are the only products that we can reference. So this is the entire list. You can have it on different worksheet tabs if you need to, but uh, I'll explain how to do all of those things in different tutorials. So once you've selected the list with all the products in it, click OK. And when you highlight the cell, you'll see a little down arrow right here. When you click the down arrow, you're going to see all of your products listed. Now this little menu bar is a jumbo menu bar right now because I'm zoomed way in. Uh, it'll look a little bit better on your screen probably. So now we can select any product and it automatically fills in. But the point is, it lists all of our products. Um, the problem also though is when you click away, you don't know that it is a drop down menu box or cell. You have to click the cell to notice that. That's why I like to make uh, input cells yellow. So it's yellow, so I know that uh, something needs to be input here. So when I click it, I can tell it's drop down menu. Now let's go for the VLOOKUP. For the VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. If you'd like a more in-depth explanation of VLOOKUP, check out some of my other tutorials. But for now, we need the lookup value. So lookup value is obviously going to be the product. We'd like to search for that in our table array over here. Now comma, table array, the table where we'd like to get all of our data from. But do remember, the lookup value has to be in the left column of your table array. Otherwise, it isn't going to work. Because VLOOKUP always searches left column. So once you've selected that, comma, now we need the column index number. What do we want to pull in? Well, we'd like to pull in the stock amount. The stock amount is in the third column. One, two, three. Now that may seem pretty basic, but sometimes people forget and think, okay, well, this is column number zero. No, this is column number one, and then two and three. So, three for the column index number, comma, range lookup. It doesn't actually matter if we enter this now because the only selections we can make are, you know, by definition going to be in our table array. But go ahead and make it false. So it's an exact match. Close the parentheses. Hit enter. And now we get the stock amount for product 192. 22. Let's go ahead and test it out with a different product. 172. Stock amount of 46. 46. So it is a really cool way to mix data validation to get a drop down menu with your VLOOKUP formula. And um, this way you don't have to remember you know, what all of your products are, what all of your items are. Um, this is also very helpful if you are searching an employee database and um, 
you can have a drop down menu to list all of the employees. So anyway, that's just about it for this tutorial. The last thing I want to show you is just to make sure that you can get the data validation off of a cell if you'd like to. If you want to take data validation off of this, simply select the cell, go back to the data validation window. Don't forget the shortcut in previous versions of Excel, Alt DL. Then under where it says allow, select any value. Click OK. And now it's not a drop down menu anymore. It is a regular cell. So that's how you can take data validation in the drop down menu off. So um, if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there. That's it for this tutorial.